I'm here with the breakout star of the incredible new Marvel movie, Black Panther. Very happy to have Latita right here this morning. Latisha, Latisha, Latisha. All right, all right, Latisha. Uh, I see that Wakanda state of mind yes. over there. I mean, just the hype that is surrounding it. Michael and I, we went to the screening here in New York. It lives up to the hype. Are you, are you ready for it to actually be out there and for people to see it? Yeah, I feel like we've just been living with it for like a, a whole year now. Um, and just the, the so moment nice. to just release it to the world. It's out in the UK. Mm -hmm. So that has been, you know, streaming in the, the feedback. And now tomorrow it's, it belongs <laughs> to you guys so we just hope that you love it oh, they're ready for it they're ready for it you had to keep so much a secret even from your own family yeah. when you were shooting and yeah. things like that how did that go that was interesting <laughs> um i kept rolling rolling out of my house and black cars kept picking me up and my mom's like where are you going <laughs> and i'm just like i'm going um to america to to film something to to audition for something and i never said what mm -hmm. and the day it kind of got leaked on the internet I was like, Mom, like, I could tell you what I've been going up for. It's Black Panther. She's like, the Civil Rights Movement? I was like, <laughs> I was like uh, and, no, and no. no. And I'm like, it's a Marvel film. It's, um, it's a superhero film. She's like, like Spider-Man? And I was like, Mom, just I forget know, really. it. Forget it. But has she seen it? She's seen it and yeah? she loves it. I know. Like she loves it. I know. There's so many people we keep hearing from them, and as you said, it's been released in other areas. Yeah. Ryan Coogler, the director, mm -hmm. and we bow to him, he calls you the love and light of this film, and after seeing it, he is absolutely correct. And uh -huh. you are on stage, you're, on, you're there with these, these heavy hitters like Angela Bassett. Wow. I mean, what was it like to work with them? It was amazing. Um, that, that love and light thing, it kind of it kind of also happened even before I met Chadwick um, and, and mm -hmm. Ryan. I was I was praying before I came out to LA to screen test and I felt really strongly in my spirit, like this thing about love and light kept popping up, like those two words. And then Ryan kind of confirmed it. He's like, hey, she's, she's real positive, you know? <laughs> she's like the light. And I was like, oh my God, there's been, you know, I've been praying about this and then that happened. Um, but working with them, man, it was a dream come true, especially Angela Bassett, because she did a movie, um, Aquila and the Bee, years mm -hmm, ago, mm -hmm. that really planted a seed in my heart to want to do acting and to portray, you know, a, a positive image of, of young black women, like Kiki Palmer, kind of her, her being a, 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 a young girl wanting to spell, wanting mm -hmm. to be a champion at spelling and having glasses on kind of really inspired me. So working with Angela was amazing because she gave me loads of advice. She about wrote, being kind? About being kind, being, you know, remaining humble, staying close to the ground and, and doing it for the love of the craft. And I would take her advice any day because she still looks good <laughs> and she's very talented. So. She is. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you, I, do you all want to see an exclusive clip? Yes. yes. And see Leticia in action? Here it is. Remote driving system activated. Wait. Which side of the road is it? For bus sake, just drive. Okay, calm down. Huh? <sighs> Woo! Let's go! Oh my god! Oh, that's just a take! That's just a take! <laughs> that, that scene is was so wild yeah but you know what i love it's it's much like you were talking about kiki palmer your character she's smart mm -hmm. she's the the tech genius of the family and yeah. for the for the whole community and that i feel that that's very important you to, to portray that type of image yeah. for young women it's very important i mean um when you lack something for so long um and when you find it in in, in a film such as this um mm -hmm. you grab you grab hold of it and I feel like a, a lot of young girls, um, no matter what your age may be, no matter what your color, you can really find um, positivity and light mm -hmm. and love in Shuri that you can hold on to. And, and it can influence a young child, you know, a young person who is super smart at school and maybe yeah. someone's calling them a nerd, maybe someone's telling them you're a teacher's pet. And then maybe they can look at this film and see Shuri who loves to, to, to you know, use her mind as a weapon to, to, to help her nation and mm. to be so smart to create and, and, and create gadgets and stuff that can change the world. Yeah. And that can be of inspiration to them to say, no, I am smart, I am intelligent. 
Um, I'm not a nerd. I'm, 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 a, I'm a world changer, and they can move forward. I love that. And we have some world changers here. We were, we, were hoping, we were hoping to get some time because we have some students, but we don't have the time for the question. So do we? Can, oh, great, great, great. Thank you. I, I shamed them into getting, the, getting time to do this. <laughs> Rama, you are from the Columbia Secondary School. What is your question? Hi. Um, so future generations will have you to look up to. Who was your inspiration growing up? And to like to be an actress and to be in the first black superhero movie. Uh, mm -hmm. Definitely Kiki Palmer and definitely uh, Naomi Harris. Mm -hmm. I felt like they played roles. I, I studied uh, Kiki Palmer's work, you know, for years. Like um, all of the films she did from Barbershop to Aquila and the Bee. Um, and she was a really big inspiration for me. And Naomi Harris, she's also someone who, not only do I love her work, but I've been able to call her and get advice. Mm -hmm. So um, sisters in the communities um, who you can, you can, you can, Fi either find inspiration from TV or call them up and say, you know, I need help and advice. So if you can find good role models and, and, and good people to give you advice when you need it, that, that would be good. I too. think we're adding Letitia to that, uh, to that oh, list. Oh, bless you guys. You think? You think? <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm not kidding. Yo, I, I am not joking. The performance that she... Mm, uh, it, it just, it, she just jumps off the I'm screen. Not, I'm not a perfect person, no, you know. I'm God not... is still working on me, but if you can find inspiration in my work, then cool. Okay, that but makes you so... love you even more by just saying yes. what you did. You just <laughs> stop it. Stop it. <laughs> thank you. Blessings. We'll see each other again. And Black Panther finally, finally hits theaters tomorrow. Don't walk, run to go see it. Yes. We'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.